And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, as fully expected, the low pressure system is starting to move southeast towards slowly. It was up in uh, Minnesota area yesterday morning. Now it's working into northeastern portions, uh, northwestern portions of Illinois, and will continue to make its way right overhead over the double five viewing area uh, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow being it right over the viewing area, but we are starting very dry this morning. Some mid and high level clouds across our eastern side, but notice up in northern Illinois, some scattered showers. We could see maybe a little isolated shower this morning, but the better chances for storms comes in this afternoon. Temperatures lower 60s, upper 50s, 57 Kokomo, 63 Rochester, 61 Good Morning Monticello, 59 Remington, 61 here in Lafayette, 64 in Covington. So future cast, this is going to tell a lot here. We could see the partly cloudy skies this morning may increase a little bit of cloud coverage later on, but maybe an isolated shower or cell working in our northwestern counties. But we should remain dry. Most of us should remain dry for most of the morning, early afternoon. But the peak heating time of the day, that's when those storms may start to erupt. And uh, some of these storms could back build and train. You could see those storms kind of following that same path to the northeast. That could lead to areas of ponding, some very heavy downpours, while others may not see much. But as you can see here, going into this evening, 11 o'clock, more storms firing, wrapping around this low pressure system. More storms tomorrow morning could be waking up to some storms here tomorrow. So be sure to tune back in uh, one tonight with Chad Evans for the latest look at radar and tomorrow morning for the latest updates with some of those storms on your way out the door tomorrow. So throughout the rest of the day Wednesday, we may see a uh, downward trend of some of these showers and storms can't rely on an isolated stray shower or storm throughout the day, but of recent models have shown that we could see a little break tomorrow afternoon and then more isolated showers coming in for Wednesday night going into Thursday. Thursday looks mostly cloudy in the morning with areas of fog and then maybe an isolated sprinkle here or there throughout the day and then Friday morning looking pretty foggy as well as we get cooled off and with the wet soils that we'll have could be very foggy, but we are going to be watching for the potential for maybe a severe storm or two main threats being gusty winds and isolated tornado risk. It really uh, is uh, existing here far northeastern western portions of our viewing area into Illinois. We'll watch for that closely this afternoon, but small hail lightning uh, certainly a threat with any of these storms and maybe a little bit of ponding, maybe a little bit of flooding in some areas because again, those storms could ride the same same area, dumping down a lot of rain. So we could see possibly up to two inches. I think three and a half, three, <laughs> three tenths is a little bit too much that this model is putting out. But nonetheless, uh, some areas could see one to two inches while others maybe a couple tenths of an inch. So we'll watch where these storms and how they'll form this afternoon and overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. See who gets those heavier amounts. 79 today with scattered storms, mainly in the afternoon hours in the morning hours as well for tomorrow. Scattered like an isolated tomorrow afternoon, and then we'll see maybe more scattered storms tomorrow evening. Nonetheless, though, stay weather aware this afternoon as we'll see a cooler temperatures tomorrow. 73 tomorrow, 75 on Thursday. And then that uh, fog Friday morning as we drop down to 54 Friday morning, high of 77 and high pressure works in. And we will be seeing beautiful weather going into the weekend with highs in the lower 80s. Well above normal weather uh, temperatures will be likely for the weekend and into next week, staying fairly dry here, Joe. Yeah, okay, we're going to stay dry, kind of warm up here after mm -hmm. this rain. But David, you've been tracking this, calling for this for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. and it's right. kind of something that we'll just kind of watch develop throughout the day, it looks like. Exactly, you know, and I was kind of uh, alluding that this is kind of like a summertime pattern where yes. it heats up during the afternoon and some of these storms may bubble up. So, and uh, knowing exactly where they'll bubble up is still kind of tricky. Sure. So stay tuned, mm -hmm. uh, definitely download our Storm Team 18 weather app for alerts and that free radar on there as well. Yeah, and we'll be checking in with you again coming up later mm -hmm. and also News 18 at noon as well. Of Thanks, course. David. Appreciate